In this short video, I'm going to show you how to show and hide an element with the JavaScript. So you see, on this page, I have a button. And whenever I click on that button, I want to show a div under it. So you see, this is the button. I have given it an ID of toggle button. And uh, I have, this is the text that says show and hide element. And right below it, you see, I have this div. I have given it an ID to that one. This one is toggle element. So this is the element. And I have set the display to none. So basically it's hidden. It's there, but it's hidden now. So this is what this line does. And uh, right here, right above the end of the body tag, I'm going to use the script tag. So script and right here, we are going to use constant. So we are going to say constant and then we give it a name. So for example, I'm going to use the same names to so toggle button. All right. So I'm going to say constant toggle elements. So toggle elements. All right. So toggle button and toggle element. So this will be equal to document dot get element by id so get element by id and open two parentheses so i'm going to say toggle button so toggle button so this one has to match this one up here all right so we have that there and i'm going to copy this line for now and add it here so equals to so this will be the same thing, except this will be toggle element. So element. So if I just highlight it, you'll notice that it matches it. All right. So it matches that div. All right. So I have these two inside of these um, variables. And on line 20, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a function and this what this function will do is that is going to check if uh, an element is set to none so if it's none we're going to change it to something else so i'm going to say uh, function show hide so show hide and open two parentheses and two color braces now inside of this function we're going to say if open two parentheses and two color braces and I'm going to say else and open to clip right. So just like that. So inside of this if statement, what we are going to do is that we are going to check if the toggle element style is set to none, we are going to change it to block. So I'm going to say toggle element dot style dot display equals equals three equals and I'm going to say none. If it's none, we are going to change it to something else. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. Okay, I'm going to copy this line and paste it here. Toggle element style. We will change it to block, but I'm going to change. So I'll set it to equals to, all right? So it will change it to this block. All right, so toggle style display block. Now for the else, what we're going to do, so if it's something else, we are going to change it back to none. So I'm going to paste that there. So I'm going to actually copy this line and paste it here. And this will be none, N-O-N-E. All right, so now let's attach this Let's attach this function to a button. So I'm going to say, this is a button. So I'm going to say on click. So on click. So whenever I click on it, it's going to run the show hide. So let's try it. You see, when I click on it, it shows. And if I click on it again, it hides. So show hide, show hide. Um, however, you know, instead of saying on click here, I can do something else. So you can, you can, of course, use on click if you want. 
just like I did here. You use show hide the name of the function and you add two parentheses. But I'm going to get rid of it. All right. But there is an easier way to do it and a, a more proper way. So right here, right after the variable names, I'm going to save um, toggle button. You see, we have stored that button inside of this variable. So I'm going to say toggle button dot add event listener and open two parentheses. So now I'm going to use single quotes and I can say, for example, click. So whenever I click, I'm going to run a function. So which function are we running? Show and hide. All right, so show hide, show you that. You don't have to add the parentheses there uh, because uh, if I add the parentheses there, you'll notice that it's going to show it. So this is uh, an incorrect way. So you just add the name of the function. All right, so show hide, just like that. So now it's the same thing. If I click on show, it's going to show it. If I click on, on it again, it's going to hide. And of course, you can attach this event to any element. So uh, if you understand the concept, um, you know, you'll be able to attach it to any element. So you're not limited to only adding this event to a button. You can change this element, for example, instead of a button, you can change it to an age one. So I can change it to age one here. All right, so you can see it. All right, so you see it says show height element. Now it's an age one. If I click on it, will show it and if I click on that age one element is going to hide it all right so I hope this video was helpful don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching everyone I appreciate your support